What is Zapier and how does it work? Hello everyone, we have all seen the ads for Zapier and what is it supposed to do? We learn about how it's supposed to connect you to one application to another, but what is the purpose of using Zapier and why can't I just do that directly? So we're going to be jumping right in to all this and much more. Now, Zapier is a tool that has basically created a functionality where you can automate your tasks from one platform onto the other. For example, if someone is shopping on my Shopify store and they purchase a product, then I might want to send them an email saying, thank you for your interest in our product. Here is a 5% discount for your next product, for your next shopping trip. Now, you could build these kinds of automations in native tools like Shopify. However, a lot of times, I'm maybe I'm working with Shopify and Send in Blue or Send in Grid, and a native integration is not available. If I go into settings and I go onto the Shopify App Store, I might not have the integration for Send in Blue, Send Grid, or whatever tool I'm using. Then, in that particular situation, I would have to manually send out those emails, and no one wants to do that right now. So instead, I can create a Zap, and a Zap is a simple connection that can streamline your work from one app to the next. So that is the purpose of Zapier, and they have a free plan available, which is going to remain free forever, as they have uh, said, where it allows you to create workflows with over 100 tasks a month. It is a complete automation platform with two-way Zaps and AI-powered Zaps as well. Then as you scale up and you require more task automation, your plans will be priced accordingly. But their professional plans start at $19.99 and their team plans start at $69. You can also get a free trial for 14 days to try out the different functionalities to see whether or not you want to use Zapier as a all-in-one solution for your business. Now, Getting started with Zapier is really easy. Just click on sign up on the top right. Once you click on sign up, you're going to enter your work name, first name, and last name. I'm going to sign up with Google because I want to just directly use my Google account. And then I can click on continue over here. Once you do that, you will get a onboarding question. So how are you going to be using this tool? What is your basic position? I want to use this as project and task management for primarily for project and task management. And what is the size of your company? You can skip these onboarding questions if you want. Now, here comes the important section. Now you want to select the apps that you use. So I will be selecting, let's say I want to integrate ClickUp. I want to integrate, I'll just search for Instagram. So I have Instagram over here, continue. And just like that, I've added my two primary applications. So you will see based on your goals, here's a zap to get you started. Share your new Instagram post to your Facebook page. I don't want this zap, so I'll, I will just continue on. Now, Zapier has newly integrated AI, and that can actually help you in making Zaps even easier. Instead of having to manually build your workflows, you can directly ask the AI what you're trying to build, and the AI will build it for you. So, for example, if I go into ClickUp over here, and I will sign into my ClickUp space. Let's say I have something like a content stream on ClickUp. So I want my content stream to be taken from ClickUp and I want an automation with Instagram. So what I can do is that I can, let's say, whenever I post a new Instagram post, I want to create a task on ClickUp which has the same uh, description as my Instagram post and is dedicated to manage the performance of that Insta post like this. Now, with the help of AI, it will try to understand the type of zap I'm trying to build. Now you will see create ClickUp task for new Instagram post performance tracking. Step one, new social media post in my account. 
Step two, create task. And that is exactly what we were trying to build. This is amazing. You can just click on try it over here to start checking out the zap. So I want this to be correctly set up because once you things up, they get automated and you never have to worry about them again. So the first step is obviously going to be to connect your account. To do that, simply click on sign in on the right. Once you click on sign in, this is only going to take a couple of seconds and you are going to proceed on over here. And you have to allow Zapier to have access to Instagram, obviously, because only then will it know when you're posting. Then after that, you have to create a task on ClickUp. So click on the second section on the left and then click on choose. Click on connect new account on ClickUp and we will choose our account on ClickUp. You also have to specify where you want to create this task. So I am connecting it to my Jane Doe workspace. And once we've done that, it's time to set up the rest of our info. So first off, we have a test and we can click on test trigger. Now, the test trigger does not actually make you set up, you know, a new post. You are just going to take, you know, a previous post and it's just going to check the connection that you've built. So I will use this one and click on continue with selected. And now after that, this is going to show me click up create task and you can also create action. But I want to just create a simple task. We can create folders, lists, subtasks, checklist, task comments, post attachment, time tracked, and all other ClickUp features directly from here. I will click on continue over here, click on continue. And just like that, we will see your action. So you have to choose your workspace, the task name. And then after that, so we're going to choose our space and we are going to add this in our space. We're going to add this caption. The caption should be the task name. And then we can choose a folder as well. And I don't have a folder in my ClickUp space. That is why it is giving me an error. So I will go on ahead and go back into ClickUp to actually create a folder where everything can belong. We're going to go into this section and we are going to create a space, which is going to be Insta MGNT management. We're going to click on continue and we're just going to create our new space like this. And once we've done that, we can go back into Zapier and it's going to load up the results by clicking on refresh results over here. No options were available. So Again, I created a space, not a task. Now, once we have proceeded with this setup, we can fill out all of these fields and test out the integration. So firstly, we're going to select our space and I'm going to refresh my uh, account and this is going to be in my Insta management. Under that, I have to select a folder. We can build custom over here like this. And this is going to be the folder name. I want a new folder for every task. Then below that, we can choose the value of our task description. We can also choose a list. We can build a custom list for each individual task. I won't be doing that. If you want, you can. We're going to again use the caption. Don't use the caption for everything. I'm just using that as a sample. Once you've done that, click on continue and click on test step. And now it is going to test your connection. And once the connection is set up, just publish your zap by clicking on the top right. And you should be able to then view your new integration and actually see your work be automated. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.